Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rapid History. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most influential monarchs in European history King Louis XIV of France. But before we begin, I want to take a moment to thank all of our viewers for their support. With every new subscriber, we feel 100 times more motivated to create more content. So, let's get started and learn about the story of King Louis XIV. Louis Ziv, also known as the Sun King, was born on September 5, 1638, in Saint-Germain-en-Laye, France. He ascended to the throne at the young age of four, following the death of his father Louis XIII. His mother, Anne of Austria, served as his regent until he came of age. Louis XIV ruled as King of France for over 72 years, from 1643 until his death in 1715. During his reign, he expanded the French Empire and established France as the dominant power in Europe. He was known for his absolute monarchy, meaning that he had complete control over the government and the people of France. One of Louis Ziv's most significant accomplishments was the construction of the Palace of Versailles. The palace was intended to be a symbol of his wealth and power, and it became a center for art, music, and culture. It was also used as a place to entertain foreign dignitaries and to conduct official business. Louis XIV was also known for his military campaigns. He waged several wars during his reign, including the War of Devolution, the Franco-Dutch War, and the War of the Spanish Succession. Although he was successful in many of his military endeavors, these wars drained France's resources and left the country in debt. Despite these setbacks, Louis XIV left a lasting legacy on France and Europe. He was a patron of the arts and sciences, and he encouraged the growth of French culture. His absolute monarchy served as a model for other European rulers, and his ideas about the divine right of kings influenced political thought for centuries to come. So that's King Louis XIV in a nutshell. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more rapid history videos.